Hello everybody, welcome back to I Dream of Indie. Old Gamer Joe here with another review for you today. We're looking at Atomic Crops, which comes from developer Birdbath Games and publisher Raw Fury. It was just recently released on the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and the Epic Game Store. It will be going to Steam in September of this year, and I don't think I ever shared this with you folks before, but Old Gamer Joe here did grow up on a farm after all, so I thought this was a fitting game for me to review. It is an action indie roguelike like game with some farming elements and also some shooting elements. The opening cutscene of Atomic Crops is most of what you'll get story-wise in this game. It involves you inheriting a farm, heading down into a bomb shelter, wondering why it's there when nothing bad ever happens, and then an explosive atomic bomb dropping down on this farm, sparing your life, but unfortunately not sparing the life of the farmer that you were speaking with. You'll farm quite a few different types of crops in Atomic Crops that includes everything from pumpkins to flowers. This is done by collecting a variety of different seed throughout the game, and there's a few different ways that you'll be able to collect it, including clearing out bases, and sometimes the enemies that you clear out will drop seed behind. You can also purchase some seed during the game's intermission sections after each day, and that is done with cashews that you've earned. You'll earn those cashews based on how well your crops turned out throughout the day, and that includes having to water them and fertilize them them as well. You'll pick up fertilizer off of enemies that you've defeated. Raising your crops wouldn't be so difficult if it weren't for the fact that you were under attack, particularly at night, where swarms of enemies will go after your crops, and you'll need to blast away at them in order to keep them at bay. This is done with your pea shooter, though you can upgrade your gun. Unfortunately, upgrading your gun doesn't last very long, though, as I was really disappointed to find out that my gun broke after a day. So Atomic Crops becomes a bit of a balancing act of trying to protect your crops during the day and at night, though the attacks aren't as vicious during the day. Watering those plants, fertilizing those plants, and of course going across the game's different areas in order to clear out enemy bases and score more perks for yourself, including scarecrows which can help to scare away enemies, or even farm animals like a pig which will help you dig up the land. Outside of that, you can also collect roses in this game, which serve two main purposes, healing yourself during the game's intermissions, or handing them off to the love interests in this game, which will give you added perks. So there's quite a bit going on here. You have some farming, you have some marriage to worry about, there's tons of upgrading to do, including getting new equipment, which will help you, and befriending recruits such as the chickens and the pigs that I mentioned earlier. All right, here's the part where I'm honest with you. I'm not very good at Atomic Crops. I couldn't get into a good rhythm with it, and that's not to say that it isn't a fun game. I actually was very eager to jump back in over and over again. I just wasn't very successful at it. I think part of the problem is the fact that there's no carryover whatsoever when you die. It's a clean run, and I think that if some of the upgrades, or at least some of the work that you had completed in previous runs did carry over and help you out a little bit, that would have helped me as a player. Instead, I struggled over and over again between between trying to raise crops and fighting off these enemies, and there are bosses that will pop up at certain points as well on certain nights. So I really did like how the game felt, I liked the systems here, I just found it quite difficult to succeed in for whatever reason. After a while and getting killed so many times, having to start from scratch, I was getting a little bit frustrated. I like the control scheme, I like the setup of the game, I do think it has some balancing issues. But instead of feeling like I was getting stronger and better on each run, I was sent back to a game over screen, which is a leaderboard that did not work. Graphically, Atomic Crops has some beautiful pixel art with vibrant colors. It's a joy to look at. There's a lot of personality in all of the different enemies. Your crops will kind of dance around. I love the color palette of the game. I love everything about the look of the game. Animations are also really a joy to watch, and the soundtrack is enjoyable as well with some country-style songs, I guess you could call them, but they're kind of silly and fitting for the game. All of the sound effects are very joyous, almost reminiscent of an arcade game in a lot of of ways, really great job in terms of both graphical presentation and sound design in this game, and it was all well mixed. Atomic Crops may not look it on the outside, but it's actually a pretty deep game, and there's a lot of different ways you can approach it. I did enjoy my time with it quite a bit. I wish I were better at it, and perhaps I'll get better at it, but right now the balancing felt a little bit off to me anyways. Maybe some folks out there will appreciate the challenge and like the game as is, but me personally, I would make some adjustments in terms of difficulty and balancing out the items that you receive. All of that said, I don't want to sound too negative here, because I did have a lot of fun in Atomic Crops. I do wish I was better at it. it is an innovative and unique experience, it just doesn't always feel like a rewarding one. 
We hope that you enjoyed our review of Atomic Crops today. If you did, please do consider hitting the subscribe button below to help us bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming. If you'd like to support us further, you can head on down to the description box and learn a bunch of different ways to do so. However you end up supporting I Dream of Indie, we thank you so much.